All right, we are back in the shop on Sunday morning, and we are going to do something a little different. Um, we're going to use this Extraordinaire from Luis at Alternative Lures. And what I've done with it is I've painted a just a white base coat on it. But we're going to do something a little different. We're not going to use a lot of airbrush. We'll use some. But we're going to use these acrylic paint pens. It comes with a very good variety of them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the black one out. <clears throat> and I'm going to try to do a crawl pattern with this. I've done this in the past a little bit. And uh, I'm going to see what it'll do this time with them. I figured I'd just put it on tape. So these pens are brand new. I haven't used them. So I think you just have to touch them down and it gets the paint flowing. Well, I say it does. There we go. And I think what I'm gonna do is just try to draw a crawl pattern on with a paint pen. kind of because well, these baits are small i tried to do it on a smooth bait just to try it they actually do pretty good i'm gonna i'm gonna take these up on the top a little bit And that's what it looks like. Turned out pretty good, all considering it's just, just getting it set up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat set that and I'll be right back. All right, so I got that side dry. And what I've done is I took the, the paint marker and I made some reference dots on the other side so I'll know where to come up at. I mean, this is just a little kind of an outside-the-box deal, but I think it can work and be very cool. I mean, are they going to match? I mean, is everything going to match perfect? Probably not, but it'll be close enough. And there you go. I'll bring them up a little bit, and I was a little bit off, but I'm not really too concerned with that. There's nothing perfect in nature, and there ain't gonna be nothing perfect in my fishing lures either. That one was pretty close, so was that one. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna heat set that, and I'll be right back. All right, so I got that dry. So I've done both sides with the paint pens from Huel.
And what I'm going to do now is, you know, it's I'm going to touch it up with the airbrush. So it kind of gives it gives you the opportunity to be a little creative, do a little bit different with your with your actual your 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 crawl shell pattern. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to I'm going to darken these eyes up a little bit. I like dark crawl eyes. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my, my model and I'm gonna fix kinda the top where I dotted it and all that good stuff. So what I'll do is I'll probably do a little bit bigger on the top side. do the same thing here I just use the bigger part of the stencil is all and I'll go up here I didn't go quite as far up on this side well Then we're going to take this Gerald Mendez stencil and we're going to use this little small section on it just to put some, just to do something different. I don't want to take all the white out, but we'll just do a little bit different by this one. Okay, then we'll flip it over. We'll flip it in. Okay, and then we'll take the top and we'll use some of the bigger pieces up here and just do it a little bit different than the norm. Then it kind of hides those dots that I made that you're not, you know, if you're not dead on, it'll, um, it'll just make it a little bit, it'll just blend them back in. It'll give it a cool looking top. Okay. So we'll let that dry just for a second. And I'll heat set that and we'll be right back. All right, we got that heat set and we'll go ahead and do a little bit of detail on the bottom with this Louisville crawl stencil. This is a perfect stencil for this. You just have to line it up. And what I do is when I take this, I just line it up on my, on my hook eye. I just make sure it's in the center. And if you do that, it'll be in the center every time. There you go. Then we'll take, they've got a bigger model on this in the front. We'll hit it here, put a little bit on there. Don't want to overkill it, but. Get that done and that looks pretty good. So we'll heat set that and we'll move on to the next. All right, so what we've done now is we've, we've pinned our crawl shell pattern in. Then we airbrushed our bottom and our design, just our modeled stencil part and our Gerald Mendez top. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try to add some color shift on to where we've done this pin on the shell, just to kinda make it not look so pin written or whatever you wanna say. So we'll turn our fan back on. That's the good thing about black. You can 
You can do the whole thing in black and then come back in and do all your coloring with color shift because it reacts to black and it reacts to white. So it's gonna give you two different colors regardless of what you're putting it on. So I've used some eye candy and I've done a, a red to gold color shift and we're just gonna play with it and see what we can come up with. All right, so we've gotten that dry. It's kind of a neat looking color shift. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little dermatitis tan to this, kind of give it a Rayburn Red type look. So we'll clean that out. All right, so we've gotten this dry, and as you can see it, it's got a, it's got a red and gold color shift, and I put a little bit of the dermatitis brown on the sides. So now what I'm gonna do is, and I've pre-mixed this, it is some Brandywine Candy 2.0 that I'm gonna go over the top and maybe touch up some of these shell patterns to darken it up just a little bit. So let's get this in the gun. I'm not gonna go super heavy with this. I'm gonna go over some of the top with it. Cause it's really gonna bring out the, the gold. Okay, so we'll let that dry. It does, it gives it a, it, it really brings out some of the colors in it. So we'll let that dry because I don't want to heat set that and I'll be right back. 
All right, well, I goofed a little bit. I didn't have my camera rolling. And what I'd actually done was after the Candy 2.0 Brandywine had dried, I'd taken some Tim Gore's illustration Dermatitis Tan, and I did some stippling all over the bait to kind of make it look natural. Just what you do with that is the you just put your 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 compressor on very low pressure, pull back on the airbrush, then pop the air to it, and it'll shoot little dots everywhere. And I did the top, the sides, kind of gave it a real neat look. I'll pick it up and let you see it. Gives it a kind of a neat crawl look. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and take the tape off. I'm going to put a little heat on it just to make sure I got that stippling dry. Take this off. We'll go ahead and get our tape off of the bait. These are very good square bills to fish, though. They have a great action. So what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and get the eyes that I'm going to use. And I'm going to use these eyes. These are kind of some natural bone tan colored eyes. I think they're going to match this bait perfect, as dark as it is. Get them out of the pack. Okay. So I'm going to grab my X Acto knife. And these are six millimeter eyes. And I think these are going to match perfect. So that's what we get. Kind of a neat little technique to try. I haven't had the pins long, just trying to do something just a little outside the box different. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix up just a little bit of UVLS and I'm gonna go over top of it. Don't need a lot, just enough to just cover the bait. And then we'll go over everything that we did. Put a little 4011 in that. This I don't have to wait on. I just stir it. And once I get the consistency right and get it good and mixed, then I just go ahead and spray it. Let that sit there while I move these out of the way. I don't want the air to catch these. So I'm going to grab the old trusty Eclipse because that's what I use to spray this with. I only use the Eclipse for UVLS now. I just don't, I've kind of graduated from the Eclipse. It's a great gun to start out with. Very good. It's a workhorse. And I've ran through quite a few of them. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to go ahead and soak it. Just get it good and wet. That should do it. So we're gonna let that dry, then I'll come back, we'll go over the process, and then we'll go ahead and get a coat of UV resin on this. All right, so the UVLS is dried, and we're gonna go over the process of what we did. We actually, this the, the blank that we're using is a extraordinaire square bill from Luis at Alternative Lures. And I started out with just a white base coat of House of Colors, I covered it. Then we just did something different. Instead of spraying our scale pattern, we just took one of these acrylic pins, and this one's a black one, 
and the company is H-U-A-L, Huel, and it's a set that you can get many colors. Uh, you can get that on Amazon. So we just drew our crawl shell on both sides and just kind of played with that. Then we got our airbrush out and we got some carbon, carbon black, my black of choice. And we did some modeling with the Anarchy modeling stencil, the Gerald Mendez texture stencil. We did our bottom with the Louisville crawl stencil, Louisville fishing. And then what we did was we took some, an eye candy mix that I mixed up of gold and red color shift and I went around the crawl shell, went across the top and around all the crawl shells and the ones on the bottom. And I let that dry. And then we came back with some dermatitis tan and kind of just softened up the colors in the shell on both sides and on the bottom. Then I came back over the top with Brandywine 4665 Candy 2 It's got more of a kind of a cherry type red. And I went over the top with that. When I did, I did touch up the shell patterns in this with it too. And then what I did was I took the dermatitis um, tan. I put my compressor on low pressure and I just stippled some little dots all over it to kind of give it a kind of a natural effect. And then we actually went with some six millimeter eyes that are like a natural series eye. They kind of tie in with that dermatitis tan. Then we came back over it with our UVLS gloss and we've let it dry. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put a coat of UV resin on it. And this should really bring out the colors. It's kind of dark. I don't like doing a lot of dark, dark baits. I like to leave some of the white in there, but this is gonna make it pop. What I like about this bait for the technique that we used on this today, the bait is smooth. It has no ridges in it. It's just, it's perfect for, for doing this with the pins. It's very good to stencil on too, if you're just airbrushing it. Um, it really does a good job. And plus it's a good bait to boot. It catches fish. And the resin just clears that bill right on up. It doesn't get in the hook eyes and it just clears it on up. It'll be a good fall or spring pattern, especially spring being in this got a little bit of red and that tan to it. Okay. And as soon as I get this out of the light box, I'll show you the finished results. All right, we have taken the bait out of the light box and this is the final result. Kind of a cool bait considering we used the marker and just tried some different stuff. The stippling turned out really good with the brandy wine candy on the top. So don't, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you know when I have upcoming videos. And like I always say, I'll catch you next time. Thanks.